Hello and welcome uli sa aking kusina. Gagawa tayo ngayon ng cheesy mamon. And here are the following ingredients. Cake flour, egg yolks, caster sugar, melted butter, baking powder, salt, and water. Para naman sa ating egg whites, we have egg whites, caster sugar, cream of tartar. Para naman sa ating toppings, meron tayong uh, softened butter, cheese, sugar, at optional ingredients um, na powdered milk. Kakailanganin din natin ng softened butter para sa ating brushing. So, ang lahat ng ingredients at recipe, makikita nyo ang link sa description box. Pakicheck na lang. So, ang ating first step, ipiprepare lang natin itong hulmahan natin. So, itong ating softened butter, ibibit lang natin. So, yan. So, set aside lang natin ito. So, yung butter na minix natin kanina or yung softened butter, so, ito yon ibabrush natin dito sa ating mold. So, make sure na lahat ng mga gilid-gilid, malalagyan natin ng butter. So, mag-prehit na, mag na rin tayo ng ating oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, we'll set this tray aside. Mag-proceed tayo sa next step. So, ang ating next step, itong ating cake flour. Pagsamahin na natin lahat ng dry ingredients, yung salt, baking powder, at yung sugar. Then, imimix lang natin to thoroughly. And then, isi-sift natin to three times. Para mag maganda yung alsa ng ating uh, cake. At para malambot siya. So, ito na yung third time na pag-sift natin ng ating dry ingredients. Alright, then, we'll set this aside. So, dito naman sa ating egg yolks. So, isipit lang natin ito. natin yung melted butter at yung water. So, ipit uli natin ito for at least a minute. And then, then isama na natin carefully, slowly, yung ating uh, um, dry ingredients. So, make sure scrape natin yung sides at yung bottom. And then, mix pa ulit natin. Okay. So, we'll set this aside. Mag-proceed tayo sa ating egg whites. So, dito naman sa ating egg whites, isama na natin yung cream of tartar. And then, ibibit natin to on high speed. Kung meron kayo ng stand mixer, mas maganda yun ang gamitin nyo. Ito lang ang ginamit ko ngayon para mas simple ang ating procedure. So, pagka ganitong bubbly na, slowly i-add natin yung sugar. Nasa soft pick na tayo. 
smooth na siya at saka um, shiny. So, makikita rin nyo yung tip, uh, tayong tayo na. And then, magpo-fold mag in na tayo. So, itong ating uh, egg yolk mixture. So, kuha lang tayo ng konting uh, uh, egg white mixture. And, i-fold in na natin. Cut and fold method. So, wag nyo masyadong uh, i-overmix ito kasi babaksak yung ating cake. So, okay, pwede na natin i-add yung one-third pa ng ating egg white. And continue folding. Cut and fold. So, make sure na makuha rin natin yung nasa bottom. Okay. Sama na natin ngayon yung ating last batch. Last part ng ating egg yolk. Egg whites, I mean. Continue natin ang pagpo-fold. So, hanggang maging even lang ang color ng ating uh, mixture. So, ayan. Even na yung color ng ating butter. So, lagi kong sinasabi yung gagawa tayo ng ganitong delicate na cake, don't overmix it. Otherwise, babaksak yung ating cake. So, mag-proceed na tayo sa ating next step. So, yun, na-prepare nating mold kanina, salina na natin itong ating mixture. So, depende sa thickness na gusto nyo. So, continue lang natin itong procedure na to hanggang matapos natin lahat. So, ayan, this one is ready. Pwede, pwede na tayo mag-bake sa ating uh, preheated oven. Um, for 15 to 18 minutes Depende sa thickness na ginawa nyo Or kung hindi man I-check na lang natin later Using a stick test So while waiting for our mamon Gawin na natin yung toppings So itong softened butter So Palalampan Palambutin lang natin siya Palambutin lang natin siya Hanggang sa maging creamy Creamy na siya I-add na natin yung sugar. At saka yung sinasabi ko kanina, optional ingredients na uh, powdered milk. So, para gusto ko lang para medyo creamy yung ating toppings. Pero pwede namang wala. And then, imimix lang natin sa ina. So, ayan. Smooth and creamy na yung ating toppings. We'll set this aside. Intayin lang natin hanggang ma-bake yung ating mamon. So, after 18 minutes, check na natin itong ating uh, mamon. So, ayan. And then, using a stick test, tusukin lang natin sa middle. When it comes out clean, we transfer sa cooling rack to cool it down completely. So, make sure habang nagpapa-cool down tayo, kailangan yung ating uh, mamon ay nakataom. So, ayan. Cool down na yung ating mamon. So, yung ginawa nating toppings, spread lang natin sa ipapaw. So. And then, yung ating cheese, lagay natin on top. So, continue lang natin to hanggang malampas natin lahat. So, nakagawa ako ng 12 pieces dito sa aking recipe. So, eto na ang ating super soft Cheesy mamon. Uh, ala Gold Deluxe style. So, sana magustuhan nyo itong recipe na ito and share it with your friends. Hanggang sa susunod kong video, magkita-kita ulit tayo. Salamat! Bye!